my yeah. colleagues always <laughs> ask me, why are you studying mechanical engineering? Yeah. Why don't you go into the design area? Like, look at that, that's cool. Why don't you do that? Yeah. yeah. If I study mechanical engineering, can I be a car designer? Or should I study mechanical engineering or car design? Or right now, if I am studying engineering, should I stop it and study design? Or the opposite, if I study design, should I stop and study engineering to be a car designer? Is there any benefit of having both diplomas, engineering and design? Or is it even a disadvantage? So these are the questions I get asked a lot about this topic, mechanical engineering and design, like how to be a car designer type of thing. And I personally don't have experience on that. I studied industrial design and then car design myself. But two months ago, I went to Munich to Hochschule München graduation show, diploma show. Thank you, Professor Dr. Othmar Wickenheiser for inviting me. It was an amazing show, but I will not go into details because in this video, I want to show you the answers from two students, Dominic and Enrico. They both studied mechanical engineering. They graduated and now they study car design. So I think it's the perfect people that can guide you with these questions. So when I found them, I wanted to ask them these questions. And what they said is quite interesting. So let's jump into it. Yeah, actually, I don't know how to start. But to start you, you have a good starting question. So guys, basically, I got millions of times <laughs> this question from young students who study mechanical engineering. Yeah. And they're asking me how to be a car designer or is it even possible? and both of you guys did mechanical engineering, I guess, right? Yeah. So where did you study? When did you graduate? What do you do now? Yeah, so uh, yeah, I studied mechanical engineering in uh, Baden-Württemberg in Germany. And after that, um, I decided to go into the design area more because I always knew that I wanted to, to design cars. So okay. I'm, at the beginning, when I was very young, um, I thought I have to do something with cars. Like that was really important for me. And I loved the technical part of that as well. But yeah, during my bachelor, I already knew that I'm not that much interested in what happens inside of the car. So I was more interested in the shape of the car and the exterior design. That was something that really inspired me. So I decided to just do another bachelor. Okay. And here I am. So just take your time for the portfolio, then apply and just start and don't spend too much time to think about the timeline or something like that, because that's really not important. Because most of us are still pretty young. Right now I'm 24 years old. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, no, 25, sorry. Okay. <laughs> 25 years old. And um, I'm in my second term. I think well, that's not a problem at all. Because, yeah. Okay. It's just, it's just not a problem. It's, it's cool. How about you? Yeah, How was so your journey? I started at 2017, I would say, after school. Um, yeah, and I always was interested in the mechanical parts as well, in the car or in the machine as well. And we. My part of or my study it was very important to get to, to be good in programming as well. Okay. And yeah, that that really catched me in, back in school. But uh, yeah, over the time I always thought there's the design part missing. Mm. Like I want to look. Uh, I'm always interested that it looks good in the end. Mm. And yeah, um, I tried to to go on with the study. It was a big step because it's not typical that you study something and make an add-on with a new, completely new study mm. and now I'm 24 I'm completely happy that I did this step to be fair and um, yeah it's it's very good that we have like this combination the design chiefs are always very interested in it if you if they know that you can be good in mechanical parts yeah. or in a mechanical area mm -hmm. and so, so that you understand it and you you're also good in design so it's very interesting so yeah. Don't feel bad to study another uh, yeah. design. And I think the technical guys are always happy to hear that you have technical background because then they are more, more interested speaking with you <laughs> and they trust you even more, I, okay. I think. <laughs> but it's just the suggestion. But I, I have a question for you. Did yeah. you regret that you first did mechanical engineering and start afterwards with the design? No. Because I didn't. Yeah. I did not. <laughs> I didn't. 
I did not because I was happy that I uh, finished it. Yeah. And I think now I'm old enough to be ready for this design study, which I was. I'm very. I, I want to. Uh, I want to really have an impact on this on this uh, area of the design. And if I would be younger, it's like 17 or something, I wouldn't think that I have been ready at this mm -hmm. age. So I'm very happy that I'm older now, old enough, and yeah, I don't regret it. And there, maybe we don't know it yet because we don't have a job yet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but maybe it one day makes a difference. Yeah, if you have, if you have yeah. many uh, buyers, mm -hmm. but I think <laughs> it's definitely good for your chances in the full design mm -hmm. area and in the exterior design area because it's always pretty difficult to get a job in in this field. So. To have something mm -hmm. else in in your background is always good. And question from me: So, do you feel like limitations from your knowledge? Is it kind of like a poison that stops you to be creative, or you are able to detach from your engineering limits to be creative? This is question. In my first project here, um, I had this problem. I was <laughs> thinking very technical, mm -hmm. and the professor always told me to calm down and not to be that technical and mm -hmm. that engineering guy to be more open uh, in in the way how you think and what's possible and don't mm -hmm. yeah uh, think about too much about what's possible and what not because we design something which isn't possible right now but could be possible in the future mm -hmm. And then, yeah, that was something something I had to learn. But now in my second semester, I think I'm a little bit better in that. <laughs> he is. Yeah, so. He is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, How about you? Did you struggle? Absolutely same problem. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So the first semester was like many projects. The professor said to me, hey, it's over engineered. And yeah, but that's good. So mm -hmm. the, this feedback was very important for us, I would say. And yeah, this open-minded uh, endless creative uh, way of thinking is mm -hmm. very good for us. And I think it's also good to always question these things. Is it possible? But not uh, maybe maybe uh, um, you have to question it um, after. So so there's a limit. Okay. So if if you um, if it's not impo uh, not possible at all for it's, I mean if you have a project in two, for two years a uh, car for twenty twenty five for example mm -hmm. and you do something completely uh, strange what is not possible and what's not possible so you always have to be realistic mm -hmm. enough and that's a very good um, thing we have as engineers so always, difficult yeah <laughs> so I think the balance is very important yeah so. Yeah, there there should be an end. Mm -hmm. So you you think about a project for the future in a very creative way, which brings you there, and you have always this engineering part in your brain. And maybe the middle of it is the perfect combination. Balance. Yeah, That's I think it's perfect. it always depends about the briefing, mm -hmm. what the customer wow. wants you to design, because sometimes you have to design cars for like twenty years in the future and sometimes um, the customer don't want that or you have to design something for the metaverse mm -hmm. or stuff like that then you can go absolutely crazy but if it should be a car in the next five years then uh, you have to shoot mm. that a little down <laughs> yeah. and but the technical part is always uh, helpful to um, argue um, uh, is did your design mm -hmm. so there's a yeah. another question the maybe the last advice is for students for example if a 17 years old yeah. person wants to be a car designer would you recommend to go study engineering first or directly jump into car design uh, what would be your advices in general actually i think it depends about your yeah it's a yeah about the person that that's, that's a very tough yeah. question. That's a tough <laughs> question. Because we don't regret it that we did it. Yeah. But I, I don't know if I have a second me. Mm -hmm. uh, I would start studying engineering first. 
I don't know because now I know what I want. Mm -hmm. If I knew it uh, before, I think I would study design instantly and maybe get be getting better right. there and right. always have an eye, an open eye for the mechanical. Yeah. Yeah. It's like studying yeah, uh, yeah. beside this. Right, beside your uh, design study, you can read books about engineering. Yeah, there is absolutely no need to do uh, an mechanical engineering yeah. studies before you jump into the design. If you knew it right now that you want to be an exterior designer or an interior designer, mm -hmm. then start studying design. So there is absolutely no need to, to do yeah. that. Next point. Yeah. Final question then. Yeah. This time for the ones who are already studying mechanical engineering, yeah. let's say they're on the second grade, mm -hmm. there's two years to finish, okay, yeah. and should oh. they stop it and jump into design, or is better to finish it first? <laughs> I would say go on studying. Mm -hmm. yeah. Finish it first. I mean, if you are 50 years old, you will never regret that you had like these two years yeah. of mm -hmm. mechanical engineering study. Maybe it's good yeah. because you, always, you, has, uh, you have the diversity in your life yeah, yeah. so mm -hmm. i think it's getting you better again and if you start it finish it and you will not regret it mm -hmm. for sure so i was pretty sure but as so i asked my this question myself when i was in my uh, fifth term mm -hmm. and there in at that time i was uh, sure that i want to finish my first studies before i, I mm -hmm. continue doing design okay. second term i think i would also align with your yeah. opinion. But there was tough times, to be fair, yeah. uh, because in the second term, mm -hmm. uh, I was thinking about going on with the study, but I did it and I was happy uh, yeah, for the rest of my life to know. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you have something in your back yeah. and <laughs> that's always good yeah. because the, yeah, the automotive design area is a tough world yeah. to get a job, so yeah. <laughs> I always say last question, last question, <laughs> but <laughs> it's a conversation. <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> what did you ask? Ask it in English. Uh, I said, uh, if you are studying mechanical engineering and you know you want to do design, mm -hmm. you can... Um, yeah, learn sketching, learn Blender, mm -hmm. learn how to animate if you're going crazy. And you can do it parallel to the to your normal university. That's great because that was also my like next question. When you guys were studying engineering, did you improve yourself also on the design skills or? Yeah, yeah. so <laughs> I visited um, drawing schools, something like that and um, i think it was very important um so it's a good preparation for for the portfolio and most mostly at every university you need a portfolio to apply mm -hmm. and i took a lot of time to prepare it and i don't regret it so um that's a good thing because sketching is still mm -hmm. important um the whole ai stuff is coming up and that's also important so what? Blender is important, animations are important, but this kind of stuff you will learn in the studies. So at the beginning, I would say um, learn how to sketch and also try to include a little bit of AI. Depends where you want, mm -hmm. where you want to apply. Yeah. The same for me. Uh, yeah, I always have been interested in drawing, sketching. Otherwise, we wouldn't study, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, and it's very funny because um, in my mechanical engineering, I always, when the, when the subject was very boring, <laughs> I always start to scribble some cards <laughs> on the paper. My yeah. colleagues always <laughs> ask me, why are you studying mechanical engineering? Yeah. Why don't you go into the design area? Like, look at that, that's cool. Why don't you do that? Yeah. yeah. I would say, if you're interested in studying design, you always you have it in your blood somewhere. You you love to draw, you love to sketch, and yeah, and great, yeah. perfect. Thanks a lot, guys. It was a great conversation. Thank you, and thank you for your contribution as well. <laughs> and back before I studied, I always saw him at uh, this 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 trend. Yeah, and it was like the first contact I had with 
transportation design. Also, the channel is not only about um, Blender. You yeah. can also learn how to sketch. Yeah. Um, there are also courses for that and how to render your sketches exactly. as well. And it's perfect to start. Yeah. And it was, yeah, the motivation. It's very good for, for beginners because if you don't have any clue how to start, yeah. then just go on the website and stand the course. Yeah. And then do the lab and be your first mini car. <laughs> Thank you for the free advertisement. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for your course. Yeah. <laughs> so you can find the details of my car design courses on my website, barkaplan.com. And again, Thank you, Dominic. Thank you, Enrico, for helping me with answering these questions, like spreading the word and supporting other people who are totally lost in this topic. It was, I think, great guidance for many of you. And if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more car design content. See you in the next video.